Good morning. Welcome to Drinking Coffee with Nate. Today my guest is comedian Jordan J. What's going on? Good morning, buddy. Welcome. Good morning, brother. Some breakfast was good this morning. Yeah, bro. What'd you get? You got the I got the uh, Brussels and sweet potato hash for the eggs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it looked good too. I ain't, I'm about to get the next. I don't even eat vegetables like yeah, that no, much, but no, they were fire. Uh, you had the chicken waffle. Chicken waffle, spicy, spicy. It wasn't even like that spicy, but it was like some good, nice kick, nice little kick to it. But the morning time, mimosas. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's why I'm feeling so good right now. Yeah, we had all the mimosas. That's all right. Yeah, that's some good shit. Mm -hmm. You just won the comedy contest at the Dallas Comedy Club. It was like a real experience because like I ended up on the wild card round. Okay. Which is like you uh you didn't win the judges vote and then you didn't win the crowd vote, so then you got pushed to the, the semifinals, but you were semifinals, but you're in the wild card round. So I went from the wild card round to First place. First place. Which is like looking you know, kinda of crazy, bro. I didn't think it was gonna happen like that, but underdog, you know. Man, I uh so I took it, I put, you know, I put all my my energy and effort into it, man. I canceled stuff. I was like, I gotta stay focused. You know, I hate losing, bro. If you like losing, you're a loser. So, fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but it was, it was fun, bro. Shout out to Dallas Comedy Club. So what's harder, being a ginger or being a black person? Uh, probably, probably being a ginger and being a, and being around black people. Being a ginger around black people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just just because black people like they gonna talk shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's no there's no uh no moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean it's I'm used to it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really bother me. Uh it doesn't really happen as much because we're adults. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. But, but when you're a child. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They high side you. Uh I mean it happens now but with my friends, so it's different. Yeah. When I was young, like it was just dry, like yeah. people I didn't even know talking. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about me with a uh, like the soulless bastard. Yeah, when you a kid, man, and, and people in third grade telling you you soulless, it do something to you, man. You like, no, nah, man, you trying to explain yourself? Like, no, nah, I do my homework just like you. But it's a, it was a, it was an experience. I mean, I'm still living through it now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But back then, it was. You didn't really know what was going on. You don't know you're being bullied. Like, yeah. You know, okay. You get older. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's just because when you're younger, it just brushes off you. You don't have that yeah. reference that they're like, you don't even realize they're being yeah. derogatory. Yeah. But now you like, okay. But now, I, you know, I'm, it doesn't happen so long. I'm, I'm, I, I snap back with something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it, it is what it is, though. Yeah. You live, uh, you live as yourself, whatever that means. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Dang. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by.